But today, after more than 100 years of production, the free-flowing crude here is long gone, while plenty of heavy or thick oil remains. Chevron needs to pump hot steam into the ground to thin the oil. This field is 20 to 25 square miles, anywhere from 300 feet to 1,600 feet deep. That's an enormous amount of rock that has to be heated so that this oil will flow at rates that allow us to produce a, a commercial enterprise. It takes 81 trillion BTUs of energy every day just to warm the ground here at Kern. Enough energy to power one large air conditioner for every human being on the planet. In Alaska, BP hopes that a similar technique will help save Prudhoe Bay. They're building giant heaters to warm and soften heavy oil, which is otherwise too thick to recover. Warming oil in the Arctic is no easy trick, but BP hopes it will keep Prudhoe producing for years to come. The difficulty of extracting oil from old fields around the world makes Anwar an appealing target. Over the past century, oil exploration has touched nearly every corner of the globe. There's not a lot of easy oil left to be found, otherwise we would have found it, and that's what we would be targeting. You know, right now we're pushing out to more remote areas, we're pushing out to deeper water, whether it's Gulf of Mexico or even offshore Alaska, and uh, continually looking for larger accumulations. In the Gulf of Mexico, they produce twice as much oil as on Alaska's North Slope. And there's little close to shore that remains untapped. So companies are going further than ever before. Uh, discover deep seas, discover deep seas. Chevron Zero, Charlie Victor. Deep seas, go ahead. Nearly 100 miles offshore, this ship is drilling one of the deepest holes ever drilled in the Gulf of Mexico. Chevron is drilling down more than five miles, as deep as Mount Everest is tall, all to look for oil that might be hidden in seven million-year-old rocks.